Today's interactive biology lesson is about the muscle groups in the human body, where I have to sort the muscles in this blanket, blanket diagram of the front and back position of the human body. So, there are the muscles. I will just have to place them in their correct places now. Uh, the first group is the trapezius. That muscle can be seen in front of the human and in the back of the human. It is composed of uh, a number of uh, muscles with strange names, but this group is one of the groups that needs to be trained to have a good body. Okay, then we have the neck muscles. Again, there are a series of series numbers of muscles with strange names that form the neck muscles. The next uh, muscle group or big muscle, this is the quadriceps. I hope I can pronounce them correctly. Correctly. Up. Okay. Now this is a muscle of four heads that uh, is uh, seen in front and in the back of the human body. Uh, all these uh, muscle groups also they are skeletal muscles. And uh, the skeletal muscles are the muscles, the, the muscles that are voluntary muscles. They can be uh, controlled by the human brain, or we can control them. The other two types of muscles that are cardiac and smooth muscles, they cannot be controlled, so we cannot actually train them. But those muscle groups are the muscles that we can train. Okay, I will place the calves there on the leg. Now, under the calf, uh, there are a number of uh, smaller muscles that are not shown here. And then I'm going to the abdominals or the abs. Now, these are the muscles that uh, these days I'm very concerned of. So that's why I play basketball from time to time and uh, I try to make other exercises because if these, these muscles are not uh, maintained, maintained <laughs> Well, uh, we sure will get a nice big belly. But while, while we are at the abdominals, there are the side ups, which are also very important. About those bellies and uh, the side ups can be seen on the back of the human body, right? And those uh, side ups are responsible for the I don't know what is the word in English but uh, there, there are strange uh, things on the sides of the belly strange big and uh, drop it things <laughs> okay on my language it is uh, said palaski and they don't look good. So, the next uh, muscle group, those are the lats. They are here in the back, a number of muscles that form the lats group. And while, while we are in the back, there are the gluteus, the muscles where we sit, 
but they cannot be trained by sitting and standing <laughs> or by just sitting like me in front of the computer all evening. That is okay. So let me place the pectorals. Those are these two muscles. Okay, they are not two. It is one muscle, I believe. But uh, again, I'm not that good in that uh, field yet. So we are going to the arm muscles and we have the forearm. Again, a number of muscles that can be uh, grouped in the forearm. Then we have the deltoid muscle right here that we can train with simple exercises of lifting weights right <laughs> uh, the, tri the triceps here it is seen on the back of the body the triceps and the biceps which also can be trained by lifting weight with simple exercises simple but regular exercises right I will just place the biceps and I have uh, sorted all muscle group groups that uh, anyone that uh, should uh, have uh, mm, bodybuilding things to do <laughs> or a little fitness to do should know I forgot the first thought that I had but this is uh, for today I have my new knowledge level I have my dosage of education for today so it is time for games and until next time